This is for Kids Club um, for 716 and this will be coming out at 630. So if you've already picked up your package, then inside you should have um, a piece of tin foil. Please make sure not to crumple it up. We're going to be working on it. So you don't want to make a ball out of it or it's not going to work um, the way you need. You have a piece of cardboard with paper on it. And then you have a little cup in there. And if it hasn't spilled out, if it did, just make sure you get all the, the sequins that are inside the cup that might have fallen into the envelope out. Because you'll need those later. And there should be a toothpick in there. Then you also have a little plastic knife and one marker. Um, if you have other washable Crayola markers or any washable markers, you can use them for this project. And I suggest you do because it gives you more options. But just in case you didn't have any, I gave you one marker so you can at least have one color to work with. And then you have a little baggie of some air dry clay. So we're going to start with putting the tin foil down and the first project we're going to do is we're going to make these little fish. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to color our Crayola Magic with our marker. Now this is kind of fun. You're going to take out your clay and you want to work on the tin foil. You don't want to put the clay on newspaper and you can put newspaper down if you have a very nice table underneath, but you don't have to for this one. Um, so make sure you're working on your tin foil because it will pick up any dirt or um, anything that's on the table. And if you have any paint or uh, marker or dirt on your hands, it's a good time to go and wash them right now and then come back and do this because that will also get on your clay and you might end up with muddy clay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our clay and we're going to cut it in half. Just use your knife. And I'm gonna set aside half of this clay for a different project that we're gonna do later. And now with this clay that you have, this half here, we're gonna cut it in half again. And then cut each one of those in half. Okay. So you got four pieces, and if you want to do a lot of colors, you can cut them in even more halves and do more colors. But we're going to start with whatever color you got in your bag, or if you have your own markers, you can choose. I got purple in my bag, so I'm going to start with this color. And the way to color this is I'm going to just take my, my marker and I'm just going to poke it and twist it into the clay. And this is going to get a lot of that um, marker on the clay. See how much I put in there. And then I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to fold it over and I want to smush it and twist it. And the easiest way to get this clay colored purple is to roll it into a snake like this. You can see it's starting to mix. Fold it over and twist it. And do this over and over again until the clay becomes purple. Okay, so now I have a pretty good purple that I like. And I'm going to choose a different color. Maybe I'm going to do some blue. And if you don't have a different color, just do an even darker purple or a lighter purple. And you can do different shades that way. And I am gonna leave one of these just white. I don't wanna put any color in that one because I'm gonna just use it as white. 
And maybe this one I will do as a little bit of blue and purple. And maybe you really like this marble look too. If you really like how it looks marbled like that, you can leave it and you don't have to keep mixing it. Okay, and here we're gonna pause the video so that you can get the colors that you like and remember to leave some white. So now for this one, you're gonna take your um, piece of paper and you can do this part or not, it's optional, but if you have other colors like crayons or some color pencils, you can make some seaweed on the bottom or maybe some rocks if you have other colors you can make other animals that are swimming whatever you want and you can even take the blue and well my pencil broke and make some different wave patterns in there and you can use markers too So you get something kind of like that. And so then the next part is going to be making our fish. And I'm gonna make my fish on the tin foil instead of on the paper, because once I stick it down to this paper, then the clay will kind of, it won't want to come back off. And if I stick a little bit of clay to another piece of clay, it's gonna stick to that really good and you won't be able to get all of it off. So you kind of wanna be sure before you actually stick things down that that's where you want it to go. So I'm gonna start and maybe I'm gonna do this bluish purple fish. And I'm gonna save a little bit of the color for something else. I'm gonna make it into a ball like that and decide how big you want your fish to be because this will be the body part of your fish right here. So I'm gonna do a bigger fish this color. And then I'm gonna lay it flat. I'm just gonna kind of squish it into the shape I like, like a pancake. It can be an oval, it can be a circle. You can shape it more like a fish, like an egg, like this, whatever you want. So I think that's gonna be my fish right there. Then I'm gonna actually take my knife and I'm gonna cut out a little mouth, just a little pie piece that I'm gonna cut out like this. And then you can decide if his mouth is open or maybe I want it to be closed. So I'm gonna put it back together like this. So now I just gave a nice little mouth to my fish. And then next, he needs a tail. So what color do I wanna do his tail? Maybe I'm gonna do some of this blue. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of shape a tail. Maybe something like that that right on the end and you can see it sticks right together get it shaped how you like and then he needs some fins so maybe I'll do a fin up here on the top you can roll it into a snake and then kind of form it And then if you want to put other decorations like spots 
or some stripes. I'm gonna use some of my white. And I'm gonna fold out some long snakes. And you can make your fish look like whatever you want. So be creative, try some different things. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is once he's all done, I'm going to put him on the paper. So I'm gonna decide kind of where I want him to go. And I'm gonna use the school glue. And I'm gonna put just a little dot of glue in that spot. It doesn't need to be very much, just a little bit like that. So that after this clay dries, cause this is air dry clay, and it'll take about two days to really completely dry. That way it won't just fall off my paper. And then I'm gonna just stick them on there, just like that. And now you can take a marker and you can give him eyeball. You can use a black marker too to do that. that works pretty good. Or you can give him little spots. You can even draw on on the clay or you can use your toothpick that I gave you and you can even make little marks with your toothpick kind of give him some texture in his fins and you can use that to kind of sculpt them you can give him little polka dots Or you can use your knife and use the end of that to make different kind of patterns on your fish. So that is one of the little fish that I did and I'm going to make some other ones. The other thing you can do is if you kept some of your white, you can make little bubbles. And they don't have to be very big. You start with a little piece and roll it into a ball, kind of flatten it into a pancake and then don't forget to put just a little bit of glue on the paper where you're going to put your bubbles. And then make more fish if you want. However many you can fit on there. I'm gonna make one that's a little bit longer.
Okay, so you should have something like that. And now I have a lot of clay left over, which is okay. If I wanna make another creature, maybe a crab at the bottom, or put some rocks down at the bottom. If you have brown, you can make some more colors. Um, so be creative and make whatever you want in your little ocean picture. For our second project, we're gonna make a little bowl. And you can use this to hold like earrings or some coins or Legos or any little toy in there. And this is kind of fun because once it dries, it will become hard. And it does take a little while for this to dry, but we can even put different kinds of sequins on there and do all kinds of different decorations. So if you had clay left over from the last um, project we just did, you can even use that in, into this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of clay that I set off to the side, and I'm gonna wanna cut that in two thirds. So I'm gonna say, if I cut it like that into three pieces, I'm gonna keep a little piece off to the side so I can make a different color with that. Now, if you kept pieces from the last project, then you've got a lot of pieces there to work with. And you're gonna have a piece about this big, and we're gonna do like we did in the last one. We're gonna color all these pieces um, different colors. And I'm gonna make my big one, I think I'm gonna choose purple, and I'm gonna make the whole thing a nice purple color. So this one I did a red. So if you have red in there, it takes a lot of red to mix in there to get it to be darker red and not pink because you're starting with a lot of white. And then you can decide to make these other ones different colors, or you can even leave some white like I did on this and do some different white accents with that. So go ahead and decide what colors you wanna do, pause the video and make up all the colors you wanna work with. So after you have your colors, you're gonna take the biggest one that you did and you're gonna roll that into a ball. We're gonna make our basic shape here, our pot. And the reason I gave you one of these cups was not just to hold all the different pieces, it's because we're gonna use it to mold our cup. So after you have a ball, and I've got most of the creases out, so it's nice and smooth, keep rolling it around if you need to, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna kind of squish it like a pancake again, just like this, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm really gonna use my thumbs and my fingers to kind of stretch it out. And you can lay this flat and do it this way if you need to, or you can hold it in your hand and do it. And I'm kind of feeling, I can feel a little bit better this way that it's all the same thickness. So I don't have really thin spots and really thick spots. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right on the top of the cup. I turn the cup upside down and I'm putting this right on the top here, trying to get it in the center. And then I'm going to kind of fold it down around the outside so that I can make a bowl. Just kind of keep molding it, push it flat a little bit in spots. And you can kind of decide how, how high up it's gonna go. They don't have to be even, the sides don't have to be even, but you can kind of work on that a little bit if you, if you really want it to be. You can put any kind of pattern in there. You can make it wavy on purpose. And then I'm gonna set it just like that, and then I can take the cup, come right out of there. Just like that. And it will even leave the little number on the inside, but we have a way to fix that. If you don't like it, you can use your finger and kind of push it out of there a little bit. So you wanna make sure your walls are nice and strong and not too thin. If you got them too thin, you might have to start over and do that part again. But make sure it just stays up on its own like that. And then I gave you all kinds of different shapes of sequence here and different sizes. And I'm gonna pick the biggest shape I have, this one, and that's gonna be the bottom here. And that helps cover up that number. So when we're adding these, just like when we added our fish to this picture, I'm gonna use a little drop of school glue to stick it on there. And you need just a dot, not a lot, or it will slide right off, okay? So I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot of glue, and this glue will dry clear. See, it's just a little dot. 
Now I'm gonna put in my little flower and that kind of covers up the bottom. So now I have a nice, nice looking bottom there. And now you can use your other colors and you can make different kinds of decorations. So I think I'll do this kind of thing again so I can show you how I did that. So you take a little bit of one color and maybe we'll do it with some white. Let's put some white. And if you wanna make a twisty pattern like this, take two different colors. You can even do three colors if you have enough clay and you're gonna roll them into some really long snakes. You can put them on here and use your fingers and roll out a long snake. Keep going. I'm gonna want it to go all the way around. See, that's not enough yet, so I need to keep going. Let's see if that's closer. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so now I know what size I need. I'm gonna set that one right up there, and I'm gonna do another snake out of another color. And you want them to be about the same size, just like that. And I'm gonna lay them side by side. Now, once I touch them together, they're gonna stick together. So make sure you've got them exactly like you want before you push them together. And then just kinda put them together like that. Do something like this. And next, you're just going to twist each end. Kinda make a rope looking pattern. You can decide how much you wanna twist and, or how, how little get different kinds of um, patterns based on that. And so then once I have it twisted, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna kind of squish it all together. See how it's kind of becoming one piece of clay? I have something that looks like this. Now, is this gonna reach around? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have plenty. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put this on the top. Cut this little part right here. Together just like that. Squish it down so there's no holes. And it even makes my pot just a little bit taller now. Now for this part right here, I don't really like um, this little crease right here, so I'm going to put a little piece of clay right there. And then you can even make some white snakes and kind of go around the outside and you can add your um, little sequences all over the place. So go ahead and pause and decorate your pot. So after you get your pot all decorated, make sure you're using a little bit of glue to stick all of these pieces down. And even if you have some leftover clay, that's okay. You can make anything else you want after that. You can make little pencil toppers, um, little magnets that you can stick on the fridge. If you have a magnet at home, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. Um, so then set them somewhere on your tin foil, this pot right here, because it's gonna take a couple days to dry. And then after it's hard to the touch, then flip it over upside down like this because you'll notice the bottom is still gonna be soft and it needs to get some air so that it can dry really good too. And then let that dry another couple of days. And then after about four days, you'll have something that you can use. And then this one, just let it sit flat to dry and you can put a magnet on the back and hang it on the fridge. It's got a piece of cardboard 
So you can just set it up right on its own. Um, and then everything looks pretty good that way. And have fun creating! <laughs>